I fixed that so she'd have that too. On a Thursday morning, the um, husband of one of our patients came in and uh, told us that his wife had just passed the night before. He spent some time talking with us and telling us that he'd been married for 54 years, that they had no children, and that each of their own siblings had already passed. So at this point that we knew that um, he was going home alone. We're just the two of us. And so, you know, just us, and now it's just me. It had a bunch of candy in it, too. <laughs> you know, they spent some time doing all this stuff. Um, Valentine's Day, we made him an old-fashioned Valentine's box and filled it up with goodies and um, Valentine's, old-fashioned Valentine's, and then one of our nurses took it over and delivered it to him. He was so excited. He was blown away that people cared that much to send him cards to show him that there was a, that kind of people left in this world. Like I had a family, you know, I mean, that was, I just, I'd go down to the mailbox and there'd be a, in the, and I never had anything in the mailbox, you know. <laughs> Amy, oh, glad I'm to meet so you. Glad to we decided you. we would spend this whole year to love on him and take care of him on holidays. And I had mentioned to him, I said, now, Ted, if you ever get bored, just let me know. I've got some alphabetizing you can do. Sure enough, here comes Ted. And he's been volunteering for me every week. Oh, thank you. That's, that's all that you give me. That's good job. I like doing that kind of stuff. She can't give me enough to keep me busy. It was so sweet of him to come back, and it was the biggest blessing him coming back because we've been able to reconnect with him in a way that he never would have had this support in the past. See all you guys, you appreciate every one of you that sent me a card. I can't hardly give him enough things to do. And I don't think it's so much the project, it's the people. Got them all done though. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. He comes in and everybody just loves on him and greets him and, and talks to him and um, just, you know, do what we do best here, and that's loving our patients and our patients' yeah, and families. Too, you know, yeah. it's just the hardest thing I've ever done. Uh, yeah. well, when you lose the love of your life, there's, there's, oh, yeah. there's no way to prepare for that. As a community, and as we need to get back to honoring humans, he was a veteran. He's been an active part of this community for 80 years, and uh, this little bit that we can do just thanks him for being who he is and um, you know, just shares a part of his life with us and we share a part of our life with him. Wow, she was very pretty. This is my family now, yeah. I, you know, all mine's gone and they care. They're very caring. I just, it's something else, it's just amazing. I'm so pleased, you know, that they're here because I don't know what, I'd probably be a basket case if I uh, didn't have this right now.